Hello gorgeous soul, before I begin, let me tell you about something fabulous I've got in store for you. If you go on my website or click the link below, um, there is a free 2019 unique to you uh, astrology forecast for the whole year, month by month, really detailed, all for nothing. What more could you ask for? Make sure you click all the buttons correctly because some people are not doing it right and then their uh, date of birth isn't taken but click the link find out what's happening 2019 hey libra how you doing this week is action packed now of course you have just come through as we all have a new moon and solar eclipse which has left you thinking very deeply about changes there may have been a dramatic event in the past few days and you're still kind of deal with the, dealing with the information that you've got. Now, this week has got very positive energy, but it is also about change. None of us can remain the same. It's time to move on. It's time to shift our energy. It's time to dig in. It's time to make a commitment this week. And we've got to think very carefully about what it is we want to commit to, because it's probably going to be quite a long term commitment. And, you know, it's happening. Let's start off with some very good news. We have uh, Venus, your ruler, shifting signs. Going into your communication zone, people are very drawn to what you've got to say. They're drawn to your ideas. You have just the right way of putting the information out there to be very appealing and very alluring to people. So if there's something that you want to communicate, if there's an idea you want to push out there, this week is a very good time to do it because people are receptive to you. You could find yourself in all sorts of interesting, fascinating and rewarding experiences not to mention quite a lot of flirting this week if you're if you're into flirting because people are just just don't want to hear you they want to hear what you've got to say they're, they're, they're drawn to what you've got to say it's a much more positive energy than recent weeks which have all been bloody hard work even if i do say so um and this week it's about commitment and pleasure so you know make the most of venus which is obviously your ruler into using that energy in a powerful and positive way we then have so much energy in your home and family zone. We have Sun conjunct Pluto, right? So the Sun gives you the confidence to make the changes that you need to make. Pluto is, is shifting things one way or the other. This week, there will be a shift in your family or your home energy. There ain't no doubt about it. Something is changing there and it's quite a significant change. So think about that. Are there changes that you want to happen around your home and family? If you were really confident and in your power, how would you make those changes? This is the week to do it because also we have Mercury, the planet of communication and Saturn joining forces in that area. So you are signing on the dotted line. Some of you, you may be moving, you may be thinking about moving, but whatever it is, it's an important shift. Uh, what is that bloody noise? Shall I turn that off? Yes, I will. Hold on one second. Oh dear. You know what turns off without turning everything else off? Oh my God. Shut up. Okay. I'll probably cut that. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, focus on what you want to achieve in those areas and be honest with yourself. How are you feeling when it comes to where you're living? How are you feeling about making changes to improve your life, of shedding uh, people, experiences, environments that are no longer healthy for you? What can you do to enhance your environment so that it's a place where you can be a magnet for ideas, where you can be uh, free to, to really think and communicate and enjoy your space? It's all happening this week. OK, let's see what the cards say for you about this week now don't forget use your intuition uh, you could relate to this because it's perfect synchronicity it could be that you use your intuition to pluck out the wisdom that you need uh, usually the tarot does cooperate i'm going crazy i can't even think straight this week it all melds together anyway okay hold on <sighs> so i'm not in my usual space there you go Okay, Libra, 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 this week. I 
Okay, Libra, first card. Yeah, you're at a crossroads. The time has come. You've seen the light. You know that there's a new path ahead and you can't ignore it. So what, what has the revelation been? What are you seeing? You know, come what may, a new path has opened up and it started out at the weekend and it's kicking off all week. And you're being urged to be the fool, which is a fabulous card. It's, you're being urged to, to take that leap of faith, to listen to the revelation that's come about around your home environment or your family or even your ideas and just go for it. It's time for action. It's time to trust your journey is going in a new way. I think hopefully you're more confident that, than you've been. Uh, and this card is somebody who's very content in their environment. Their environment's important to them. Um, they're, they're successful, they're in their power, but they're not materialistic, but they're enjoying their space. Uh, I mean, all of these cards are saying the same thing. You're letting go to move on. That's the message of this week. Not because you're necessarily unhappy. If you look at this card, all the cups are still there, but there is a missing cup. You're going after what's missing in your life this week. You might not do it this week, but the idea is there. Uh, the energy is rising to the surface. You're seeing the light, but you know, truly you're in your power. The Empress, look how relaxed she is. And again, she's happy in her environment. This is, I don't even think I need to pull another card. It's all there for you. Now's the time for you to do the work, which I'm sure you will do. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.